through the top of this bullet. I'm gonna try it. It hasn't popped. If you're really careful, you can also put it all the way through like this. It doesn't pop. That's because the rubber molecules around the neck of the balloon are less stressed than when they're pulled tight around this part. So the molecules just sort of move out of the way of the skewer. For this one, you'll need a coin and a balloon. Just put the coin inside the balloon. Blow it up and then tie it off. Shake the balloon like this. Can you see what the coin's doing? It's spinning around the inside of the balloon on its edge. Now I'm going to show you this in slow motion. The coin does this because of centripetal force. The force that makes things travel in a circle. It's also the same thing that keeps roller coasters in a loop de loop without falling off. Hovercraft seems like some fancy invention, but here's how you can make your own one at home. All you need is a pump bottle cap, hot glue onto an old CD and a balloon. Just blow it up and put it on the top, like this. To make it easier, keep the cap of the bottle closed when you're putting on your balloon. But when you're ready to turn it on, just open it up. The balloon lets out a layer of air between the CD and the table, which reduces the friction so the hovercraft can slide along easier. Now I'm going to be making a rocket by tying a piece of string between two things and threading a straw onto it. Then I'm going to take my balloon onto here, blow it up and watch it shoot down the string. Pinch the end of the balloon shut and tape it onto your straw. Let's see if it works. It went really, really fast because the balloon was under pressure. And so when all the air was released, the force of that pushed the balloon along the string. Make sure you ask for your parents' permission for this one because you're going to have to light the candle. Now I'm going to see what happens when you hold a balloon over a flame. when we try it with a balloon filled with water instead. It doesn't pop because the water conducts the heat away from the surface of the balloon, but it's still really sooty. Now I'm going to talk about helium balloons. Helium is a gas, kind of like oxygen, except much lighter, so that's why it floats. Helium atoms are really small, so if you keep them in a balloon, eventually they will get out and escape into the air. That's why this balloon, which had helium in it, now doesn't float anymore because most of the atoms have gone out of it. Now I've tied a whole bunch of helium balloons together and I'm going to see if I can get one of my toys to float. There it goes. That one seems easy. Now I'm going to try a heavier toy. We're pretty close with eight balloons so we might add some more. Let's see if we have any more luck with ten. It's working! <laughs> Inertia is one of the laws of physics. Basically it means that some, if something is still, it doesn't want to start moving, and something that's moving doesn't want to change speed or direction. This happens to you when you're in a car. When it stops and starts, you get sort of pushed in the opposite direction. This is a pendulum, and this is the helium balloon. But helium balloons don't follow the rules of inertia like everybody expects them to. Watch what happens when the car starts to accelerate. When the car went forward, me and the pendulum went back, but the balloon went forward. That's because all of the air that was in the front went to the back, so the balloon jumped forward to fill in that space. Thanks for watching, and remember, more cool experiments are coming your way. Don't forget to subscribe to the What Now YouTube channel, and please leave any comments or questions below. Goodbye!